right, and we're back. We're going to switch to Jump King. Uh, switching between capture devices is kind of a clunky process for me sometimes, so uh, bear with me a moment. And uh, brace yourselves, it might be a loud noise or two. <laughs> Okay, I've still got my mic. That's good. Let's see if I can get some of this uh, stuff off the screen. And maybe even make the correct game appear. Ta da! How about some audio? All right, I think that looks good. We have successfully switched. Oh, thank you for the welcome back, Waz. Uh, let me turn off my Super Nintendo, though. I didn't do that. So I gotta step away a moment. Took a moment longer than I expected. quite the subtitle yeah I uh I don't want any spoilers so I don't want to know how right or wrong I am about this or any information into what any possible revelations might be but that's all any of the characters in the game talk about I have a strong suspicion there's a joke that this is going to be like a uh, this is going to be a the cake is a lie situation there's gonna be I have a strong suspicion there's going to be a joke played on the player at the end. So I've been playing this for an 11 and a half hours. <laughs> we are... We are on the starting platform. So if you haven't seen any of the game, don't worry. This is the beginning. It's actually it's actually a really cool game. I really like it. It is immensely frustrating. Um but there's so there's there's a lot to there's really is a lot to love about it. Don't let my current success fool you, by the way. This is just a part that I've played a whole bunch of times. There will be there will be much, much falling very soon. Oh, we almost had our first taste of it. Oh This is this is looking more like the game. This game. <laughs> yeah, this uh this this one it's it's quite the game, alright. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. It's all about developing that sense of timing that I just don't really have. I, 
thought maybe I could, I thought maybe I could bump my way up there from the other side. No such luck. Oh no! If you think you, uh, if you think you like, have an issue where you need to work on developing your patience, have I got the game for you? So things, things actually went really well with this game the last time I played, um, which was earlier this week. I actually made it way further than I'd ever been before. So while I did start out at the very bottom tonight, and I don't, you know, I'm not going to give this game a whole lot of time tonight, so I don't really expect to make it super far. Um, I do have, I do have hope that future progress may exist. Woke up with the hiccups, Persephone says. I'm sorry about that. I, uh, <laughs> talk about needing to have patience. The hiccups are like one of the things that irritate me the most. Having the hiccups kind of drives me bonkers. Ooh, indeed. T. T is good, too, for patience. Gotta let it steep. I thought I'd be good for this game. I'm not, as you can see, I'm not very good at it, but I thought that I would play it well in a way, in that... You know, I have, I have a pretty deep well of patience, so I thought I could be a good person to play this game and not absolutely explode and lose my mind. But when I first saw it, I was like, I think I have the persistence to make it through this experience. I think I have, I think I have the tolerance for frustration that is required. I don't know yet, because I haven't made it through, but I feel like I've done alright. I may not be the most interesting person to watch play it. But I'm at least can play it and have a decent time. Is it one hit kill like uh, Meat Boy or something? So, so far as I'm aware, there is no damage. Um, there, it's only the only thing it seems that you have to worry about is falling. Which you can do endlessly. <laughs> yeah, only mental damage. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any combat or anything like that to worry about. If there, if there is, I've not made it far enough to discover it. But I think it's a. I think this is a non-violent game. It is, it is just jumping. 
so far as I can tell. Yeah, it's. I mean, I like. I like the concept. It's. It's such a simple concept. I like. Uh, I like the aesthetic. You know, I like to. I like to be a knight when I play a video game. So like, it, it's got. You know. It's really. It's really like designed to speak to a lot of my loves. Kind of like Chips Challenge? I don't think I know that one. No. <laughs> but do you like smoking hot babes? Sure. Chips Challenge is an incredibly old PC puzzle game. I think that when we get to the top, we're going to discover that the real smoking hot babe was the friends we made along the way. Chips Challenge rules. There might be a C64 version of it. This ink pen doesn't work well enough. I'll write it down. I'll try to remember to take a look. That's that's getting toward the tail end of a C64. It has it's got to be uh, it need to be a pretty simple game for its time, I think. No, to still be in the running to be on the Commodore. It is on the C64. Well, look at that. All right, maybe I'll find a copy. We'll see. I'll let you know if I ever make it up anywhere that I haven't been before. We're a pretty long ways from that. I've gone up pretty high and lost it all. So. There's still quite a ways to go before I'm going to see anything new. So that guy there says he'll sell me some boots that'll make the game easier. Well, he says they're non-slip boots, and I don't believe him. I don't believe him for the world. I think he's a liar. I don't trust him. I don't believe him. But he said he'll sell me a pair of boots if I can bring him one gold coin. And there's a bird up here that has a gold coin in its mouth, but it keeps flying away every time I get near. So, I'm, I've been trying to chase this bird, and uh, I think it's all just going to be a big joke on me. I don't expect any of this is going to go the way that it wants me to think it's going to go. I don't think I'm going to catch the bird. I don't think I'm going to get the coin. And even if I do, I don't think that guy is going to give me a pair of boots. I don't believe it. Hmm. 
<laughs> you don't trust the devs of Jump King? The devs of this very nice game? You don't trust them? No. No, I do not. I absolutely do not. I like the aesthetic. I love it. I, I, I love the uh, I love the visuals of this game. I like the sound design too. I like how it's quiet most of the time. You get a little bit of sort of atmospheric music every now and then, but it's mostly pretty quiet. It's a it's a lonely game. I like lonely games. Dark Souls is a very lonely game. I like that. Um, Castlevania 64 is a is a pretty lonely game. Um, less so than less so than Dark Souls or this, but uh, yeah, still it's a it's a pretty lonely game. Uh, I thought Portal was a pretty lonely game, even though you have a robot talking to you all the time. <laughs> it's a lonely game because if your friends or family see you playing this, they know they should leave you alone. <laughs> uh. Just the uh, games like where the world feels big and empty and quiet, like, is just what I mean. There's not a lot of interaction with with uh with other like sentient characters and when when there is it's kind of sparing and untrustworthy got a date at three today should give a decent distraction from my depression i hope that goes well persephone the zone so during our first like handful of sessions I've had I've kind of played this game off and on a bit I, I played it I played it for like th three or four sessions like two years ago and then I put it down for about a year and then I played it a couple more times and I put it down again like several months maybe close to a year until we picked it up again this week and up until when did we play it monday yeah we played it on monday up until monday this room here was the furthest i'd ever been in the game so even though i put it down for a long time when i picked it up again on monday i didn't make i did make progress that first night which was kind of cool Uh, I feel like the robot in Portal is part of the loneliness aesthetic and intentional. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too, Persephone says. Dating at 38 is terrible.
that jump to that block out there in the rain over there that is uh, that is one of my most hated jumps so far in the game it's so scary and so costly when you miss it I mean the most of the jumps are but I really feel I really feel that one like in my soul This jump right here is is horrific, by the way. To thread the needle into that little room over there, it's just get out of here. It's so hard. Need to pick me up. Weekend is crazy busy for me. Uh, but you managed to secure quite a lot of photography opportunities. Oh, nice. feel I feel pretty confident those are gonna go well for you you seem to be on a uh, you seem to be on a really good run with the photography from uh, from what you've been sharing the only person I know who can fall that far down and not show any physical emotion or response <laughs> Deep breathing. Maintain the zen. Two major events in town. So secure some smaller ones and a huge one next month. <laughs> After that last uh, loud run, Frowdy doesn't experience feeling anymore. <laughs> I did. I get. I mean, I got burned pretty bad. Old old agent trip at the finish line. Frowny strikes again. There are certain parts of this that, look, by the time I'm through, there are certain parts of this that I'm going to be able to speed run, and there are certain parts that I'm still going to have no idea how to how I ever got through. Not sure how you perform. Gonna shoot uh, shooting in low light settings. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you were in. I feel like you mentioned being in low light recently. Do you have any time in your schedule to uh, get some practice in, maybe? Might cost you a bit in resources, but certainly couldn't hurt, right?
uh, getting on as the photographer for your old high school. I remember you mentioned that. These are actually practice for me, except the show in October. That's a tipped gig. No. Oh, nerves. I've got so many nerves now. I'm somewhere not really new, but, you know. I don't think I can fall out of this area. Oh, you look different than I thought up there. Any play is a cool play, Waz says. Theater is dope. <laughs> I was uh, I was involved in the theater for a while when I was in uh, when I was in school. I always had fun with it. There we go. So there's this spot over here. Um, and if I come up here, I make this jump to the left, I can come out here. And like this is basically a checkpoint. Because this is like a whole area here where I can go up and like I can't fall back down to anywhere you've ever seen before. But this is not in line with that uh, path before where I was talking about that bird. Actually, I don't think I can do this yet. I think I do have to chase that bird down first because I can't make... Oh, never mind. I can make this jump up here. What is that? That's another bird. Oh, no. This is just an optional thing. Oh, no, it's not. Well, there's a bird. But anyway... I don't feel like I want to do this part yet. I don't know if this is a... I don't know if this is a secret or if this is continuing the story. The quote-unquote story. 
I don't know. Let me investigate this a little while. I've never looked in this area, so let me just see what this is all about. This might be this might be a, like a short optional area. It's really rough because of this deep snow. Uh, I guess that's what it's supposed to be like, but uh, boy, mission accomplished. Oh, bogus. I don't think I'm going to make it. I didn't. Went to art school, theater kids on the first floor, dance on the second, graphic design, where you were on the third, painters and drawings on the fourth. That was an interesting building. Lots of vain people. They're weeded out pretty quickly. I mean, aren't there lots of vain people everywhere? I find one in my own mirror from time to time. Hmm, I don't know what this dragonfly is all about. Plus, all right. It's becoming increasingly less all right. This should be my favorite part of the game, what with the snow and all. I love I love my snow levels. <laughs> it's the same game but half the sprite is hidden the uh the jumping is different here you can't do you have to do by default bigger jumps than you can get away with elsewhere when you're in the snow there's no uh when you're out of the snow you have this like tiny hop that you can use for I mean, you can walk when you're out of the snow, and I, you can't walk in the snow. So that alone is like... 
troublesome. But also, you can't do any, like, really small hops like you uh, could when you're not in the snow. The mechanics, the mechanics are different. Maximum jump. Snow bad. I love snow. I'm a monster, right? Because I live in Wisconsin. And everyone's always like, whenever it's the winter, everyone's always like, oh, I can't wait until it's spring again and all this snow is gone. And and they're like, oh no, the fall's almost over. It's going to be snowing soon. And they're like dreading it. And I'm the exact opposite. I'm like, I'm looking forward to being snowed in. That's my favorite part of the year. Are you kidding? I want to look outside and see three feet of snow every day. If I got to mow the driveway, mow the driveway. If I got to snow blow the driveway every now and then, that's a small price to pay. You know snow, too? You're from Canada? Right on. Yeah, there's a, there's a really good chance you get it more than I do. But all the, all the people that are, like, all the people that are, like, native to up here... They're always, uh, they're always so excited, like, when the snow is going away, and that's when I shed a tear. Because <laughs> I'm the, I'm the monster that, as a transplant, I guess, I still love it. Oh, please, I didn't, mm, I didn't jump that poorly. I, I disagree, game. I tried to reach the bird. Uh... From Colorado, and we adore it when it snows, but that's the cause. That's because unless it's a Blizzard, it all melts within a day. <laughs> Shout out to Snow. Snow's a good reason to not have to leave your house. It's very comfy. That might have something to do with it. I might, I might be something of a homebody. Who, en who enjoys having an excuse to stay home. Jumps are unbearable. Oh, whoops.
I like the atmosphere here. I like the snow, the nighttime. Oh, it's very beautiful, very blue, very peaceful. I like it here. Oh, I got the bird. We have a very pro snow, clear so snow nality. <laughs> I have a very pro pun personality, so wonderful. It is the tradition of the stream that every night, every night when the stream begins, uh, I I started off by telling, by telling a pun. And I leave it up for the audience to decide whether that pun is uh, brilliant or horrible. That's been how every stream has started since the since the third night. No one's quite sure if it's a reward or a punishment for tuning in early. <sighs> so I have a habit of I have a habit of not repeating them, and uh, I'm sorry if that seems rude, but the thing is. Uh, I get people coming in at all t hours of the night, and if I have a policy of repeating it for everyone who asks, that I'm telling the same joke every, like, five to ten minutes all night long. So, I have to have a blanket policy of not repeating them. <laughs> But they're they're all there at the start of the vod, and I make a uh, I make super cuts of them on the YouTube channel. <laughs> so if you really want to torture yourself sometime, available. I think there's a wall there that I wasn't properly recognizing before. Uh, 
Oh, over overshooting a platform just I mean it happens all the time, but it never it never doesn't hurt. Uh, bedtime for me. Much love. Thank you, Waz. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you again for the uh, for the support. Thank you for the gift subs. Very generous of you, and I uh, I appreciate that. Uh, be well. I hope you sleep well. Hopefully, we will get to see you again soon. It's uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts tomorrow night, and then more Jump King in the later part, and. All kinds of nonsense next week, I'm sure. Hey, Itty, welcome in. Thank you for the pistachios. I actually don't know how much longer we're going to be going all together, though. I said I was going to give this about an hour, and it's not been quite that. But it's closing in on 6 o'clock for me. And that should be about when I call it a night. I'll check out this area a little bit longer. But I might just stop and have us pick up here tomorrow night so I got a whole handful of pistachios that are free from their shells this is the bottom of the bottom of the cup easiest pistachios in the bowl I love it Close, but no banana. No, it got worse.
I don't know. I don't know that I can go up any further. I feel like... <sighs> I feel like I've reached a spot where jumping higher. Oh, never mind. I see the way up. It, it's the same jump just from the other platform. I'm silly. I do really like this area. Jump King is a uh, Jump King is a mystical journey. It is good for my soul. I think we'll uh, I think we'll stop here for tonight, my friends. Um, it's been a good time. We should uh, we should go ahead and save, and we'll explore this air area some more uh, next time. But we'll go ahead and raid out. It's been a good night. Aladdin was a huge success. I know that run that I tried ended in a horrific failure as I tripped to the finish line and destroyed the run by missing the very last collectible. But it doesn't matter. I solved the puzzle. I figured out how to get the two collectibles that have been giving me a hard time. And we are our our beautiful deathless 100% run of Aladdin is only a matter of time. Uh, we'll probably even get it next week. I'm highly confident. We'll play more Jump King tomorrow, but that'll be in the later part of the stream. We're going to start tomorrow night with Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Practicing 100% of that game. That's way harder, and will probably take several hours to uh, grind my way through. But, uh, you know, hopefully that will ultimately yield uh, success. I don't know. And next week we're going to be playing more Disney Illusion Island, more Tears of the Kingdom. And I've got to start some new stuff up. Uh, I mean, we got to finish up Wario Land, but I think we'll have one night where I'll do two new things. And uh, get some uh, get some fresh faces on the uh, agenda. I'm thinking something on the Genesis probably, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> thanks for being a wonderful accompaniment while we're editing some writing. No problem. Thank you for being here, Claire. I really appreciate your company. I hope you're well until I get to see you again. Let me just spend a couple moments to see who is. Oh no. No, my tablet's dead. I I can't raid out. Uh, I had it plugged in this whole time, but it wasn't charging because the thing wasn't on. No. All right. Well, a dead tablet. I'm going to end without a raid. Oh, I hate to do that.
I need my tablet because I have to switch to mobile to uh, after they. I have a whole setup of a way that I work, and I have to switch to mobile uh, when I when I write out, and I can't do that. So so no raid tonight, my friends. I hate to do that, especially when there's a lot of us here. But uh, it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do it properly next time. So tonight, I'll just tell you, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you very much. I hope I get to enjoy your company again real soon. Be well in the meantime. I uh, should be starting up tomorrow around, uh, probably around midnight central time. Um, I'm aiming to get that slid back a little earlier again, but probably not going to happen for a little while. Uh, so around midnight central time, maybe a little earlier. Uh, you can look for me then, or maybe I'll see you next week. But uh, be well, my friends. It's time for us to all head out. We're not traveling together, but let's go on an adventure. <laughs>